Okay, setting up a mosaic plan in ASI Air. So this is actually fairly simple, uh, pretty straightforward. We'll just go into it real quick. Uh, first off is on your preview, you want to go in and select plan. From plan, we're going to go down here to the lower left corner to where the uh, constellation marker is. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to find whatever the object is that we're, we're going to be doing a mosaic of. So uh, it's kind of in the middle of the daytime there, but why don't we scroll down here to uh, IC1805 to the Heart Nebula. And you'll notice since we went to into it in plan, I now have some options there on the lower right, which is giving me the object name with the sync and the plan button, and then of course the mosaic, which is in the upper right. So if I click on the mosaic in the upper right, it's going to automatically go to the default, which is 2x2, two two, at which point I can then move the screen around depending on how I want my framing. If you want to adjust how many panels you're going to do, uh, these right here are sliders. So you can get pretty elaborate if you want to. Uh, but for this one, the way it's set up, we're just going to go one by two. Again, you can choose as many as you want. You can go to three if you want to, four, whatever. So three actually looks about right. That'll get... Uh, everything in there that I want, so IC1848 and IC1805. Uh, now the overlap, this uh, can be tricky depending on what uh, software you're using to process. I've found that 10% overlap doesn't work very well in APP, it needs to be at least 15 to 20% of overlap. So I'm going to boost this up to 15%. And again, I'm just going to hold down the screen here, move it around so I can choose on where I want everything to be lined up at. So that looks pretty good right there. Once I've let go of it, I got everything set for what I want. Drop down here to the lower right, you're going to click on plus plan. And there you go. You'll see there in the lower left, you've got uh, three panels, basically of all of IC1805. So if we just arrow back, arrow back, there we go. And now, under plan, you got the three bars. If I click on the three bars, you'll see that I've got the three panels now loaded. So if you click on detail, we'll start with 1-1, click on the detail. We're going to add a light frame. So we're going to go in plus, 300 seconds, and we'll, uh, la, la, let's see, we're going to do hydrogen alpha, whoops, nope. hydrogen alpha, there we go. And we'll just let it default to 10. We'll let it hit OK. If you want to add more filters, or if you're using a one-shot color camera, you don't have to add the additional lights. Uh, but let's go ahead and add in uh, oxygen. Hit OK. And you'll see there the two filters are now for the first panel. So if I go back out, I'm going to tick the upper uh, left corner here where the circle is. you got to make sure that's ticked so it becomes active. We'll go into the second panel. Same thing, we're going to be doing uh, HA, and then we'll add in the oxygen channel. There we go. Now we have HA and oxygen ready to go. Check that one so it's active and ready to go, and then come back down here to details, and we'll do for the last panel as well. So H, there we go, and then oxygen. Boom. And there we go. All right, so all three panels are ready. Now, if you'll notice here on the graphs at the very bottom, you see a red line. So the red line is basically when it's gonna rise or when it's gonna set or where it is in transition in the sky. So right now, uh, it's at six o'clock, it's still well below the horizon. I'm not gonna be hitting it yet. It will start lifting up. If you look at the third panel based on the time, it's going to start rising about 11 o'clock at night. So in the upper right hand corner you got this little stop sign deal here and you can go in there in order to select your starting time. So if you're planning this while your object is rising or up in the air and you're ready to go right to town you can go ahead and click start now which is what it's set for or you can choose to start of when you want it to start it. So we're going to go to start, whoop, start at, well there we go. Start at, and now you can choose how many hours from the point that you're setting up the plan until you want it to start. 
so for a little bit more automated uh, action here. So if uh, I decided to do it later on tonight when we got up above 45 degrees, you know, I would probably set it for eight hours from now. Uh, and of course you can do it by the minutes as well and then of course the seconds. So if you have it at start at and you click OK, you'll notice uh, up here where it says start at, it has 8.09.23. That's 8 hours, 9 minutes, 23 seconds. Again though, if you wanted to just start right then and there, you can click start now. And then when you go to click on the uh, uh, play button, it will start right off. So that's done. All three of these are checked. Uh, we've got our filters loaded into it. We're going to, you'll see up there the estimated duration time uh, for each panel. This is not cons uh, added together. This is the estimated duration per line. Uh, if you take it off, like so, uh, to where neither one, none of them are actually selected, it'll get, give you the estimated end time. All right, and then from that point, you just click the uh, go button and you're ready to go. There you go. That's planning a mosaic.